welcome to Mind Your Business, a channel where we are in our everybody business. If you don't mind getting in people's business, you're on the right channel. Talking about current topics and gossip. So Jess and Sammy from Love Island have recently split up, but what is the reason behind the split? Wagwan as people, my inclusive crew. Let's do a little Love Island 2023 dive. So most of you guys will know that Jess and Sammy, the winners of Love Island 2023, have now split up. And uh, I was wondering what had happened. So I have seen um, on Jess's Instagram that, you know, someone did actually ask her about it in her um, comments, you know, she does the kind of Q&A situation and they asked her about it. Jess did reply saying it's been over a week now since we split. So I'm just, I'm getting there. The person basically was asking, how is she doing? And she basically said that, you know, they shared a once in a lifetime experience together. So of course it's quite sad. So essentially Jess, 23, is still remaining quite tight-lipped about it. And she's not really opening up. But she did say that, you know, I really don't want to go into detail by doing a big statement. But we were just very different and behave differently and that's it so i'm like "Mm, you behave differently i wonder what happened there so maybe something happened in terms of the behavior because she did throw that in there the behaving differently but what i thought was interesting is that you've got sammy however he apparently was keen to show his um total shock about the slip so you know when he was talking to his fans about it he talked to his instagram and basically said you know hi guys I thought that I would come online to address today's news about me and Jess. Yes, we had a private conversation regarding our relationship, but this was left up in the air as Jess is still away and we haven't had a chance to speak in person. For me to then see today via the media that we had officially broken up came as a total shock. So he's basically saying he was blindsided by this split. He says that they both had an incredible experience within Love Love Island and that he genuinely saw a future with Jess. He says that he was committed and respectful to their relationship. Unfortunately, things didn't all don't always work out the way you'd ha- you'd hope. He concluded that despite um, how this has all played out today, he thinks that Jess is an amazing woman and genuinely misses her all the best. So then he adds to, to be totally clear. I at least wanted a face-to-face conversation to see if our relationship could be saved and felt this would be the respectful way forward. So that's really interesting that he came back out with that. So who knows, maybe there might be uh, some space for them to reconcile because it sounds like Jess made a decision. He's given the impression that he wasn't sure. I mean, I'm sure to many it's it's not a complete shock because during his time within the house, he kept saying how Jess is not his usual type you know, that this, he doesn't usually find her necessarily that attractive at that time. And then we know that Jess is a, a beautiful girl and she deserves a lot. So they did come together. They seemed like they were into each other. But obviously now they are no longer together. They were, of course, spotted at the um, Pride of Britain Awards. They were all seated on the same table with Ella and um, Tyreek as well. So um, it didn't seem like there was bad vibes as such just seemed like you know they were on their respective sides and getting on with it so who knows maybe there's still some space for them to reconcile but what do you guys think in other love island couple news you've got tyreek and uh ella they are still going very strong always posting on socials at various different red carpet events and stuff so they seem like they're doing very well you've got whitney and lockham they are still going very strong as well which is good to see they were my faith couple um so i'm glad to see that this is still going strong for some of these couples here and zach Zach and molly they're still going strong as well so it's good to see that some of the love island couples are still together then you've got a slight surprise but not a surprise is uh abby and messy mitch now they have been pictured together at a few different uh occasions or events um So it definitely got me wondering, are they together? They both were pretty messy. So it wouldn't surprise me if they got back together um, because they definitely did suit each other. Uh, As much as Mitch is a mess and I thought Abby just needs to sort herself out, you know, because he was driving her insane. If they have gotten together, then, you know, good luck to them is what I would say. But as I was dipping into these couples and, and trying to work out who else is still together, I decided to look at, you know, what about the winter season? Well, who else is still together? So Sanam and Kai, they are still going strong, which is nice to see. Shaq and Tanya, they are still going strong. And Farmer Will 
and Jess. They are still going strong as well. And from what it seems, they are going between, you know, his farm and he has definitely gone to Australia to meet her family. They are definitely going strong. You can see that he also uh, took her away and, you know, organised a bright, very nice trip for her for her birthday and stuff. So they are still going good. So it's actually good to see that Love Island does work for some of these couples, you know, and I'm wishing them all the best of luck <laughs> to those that are still together. But what do you think, guys? Are you surprised by any of the couples that are still together? And were you surprised by the Sammy and Jesse split? Let me know your thoughts below. Yes, so thanks for watching that. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, share and hit that notification bell so you know when I am uploading some more of people's business. So until then, my nosy people, stay blessed.